How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games. And another Daz Watches. I guess this is a Daz Watches. It's slightly different, though. Today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Something that I've always been interested in. So, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of horror. I play a lot of horror games. I thought today, we'd look at some supposed if real ghost footage caught on camera uh, as it's something that we've never really done on this channel before and I've had a few requests for it and I thought you know what that's a good idea. I don't really believe in ghosts much. Um, my partner Kate does. She believes if someone uses up the toilet roll it's a poltergeist. I approach everything with a skeptical mind. I don't believe the ghosts exist but much like conspiracy theories I don't believe much conspiracy theories but it's entertaining. You see something and you're like ooh even if you think it's fake or it's obviously fake it's entertaining. Let's watch some real ghost footage, shall we? Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'd run. <laughs> All right, even if that's fake, like, that's really well done. Like that's that's terrifying. <laughs> I mean just imagining that. Like, you can see how the, the, like, we're watching it again. So, like, he's walking down the hallway and you can see there's some sort of figure at the end there. And it just grabs him and pulls him down though. That's terrifying. Wow. I mean, I, I'm, I'm probably, I'm gonna say, like, that all these are fake. <laughs> but, um, that's really impressive. Like, if that was in a horror film or something, that would be amazing. Alright, next one. <laughs> oh, okay, I've seen this one. So apparently, uh, this, uh, I've actually read up on this, and apparently there's uh, a ghost in this hotel called the Screaming Ghost or something like that. And apparently they heard screaming and lots of noise coming from the hotel, and they sent someone out to go and look into the hotel room and see, you know, if, if anyone's in trouble or whatever. And uh, this happened. I, I've seen this one. Don't go in there, man. Have you not seen a horror film? You can hear the screams coming from in the room. Oh my god. So you can hear the screams and you can hear what they're saying on the walkie talkies. Like no one checked into the room yet there are screams coming from the room. So he's going to go inside and take a look. But he doesn't, he's going in. So he goes in, watch this. What the fuck? You see that? You see like the the figure leave the room after he goes in. Look look at it again, look. So he goes in the room, and if you look really carefully, you can see this figure, this misty figure walk out the room as he goes in. Like, I don't think people have been able to explain this one. Like, maybe um, I should do a bit more research before, if I do another one of these videos, but like, that is creepy as shit to me. I'd never stay in that hotel again. I'd never work in that hotel again. So, yeah, I don't know the truth behind that one, but um, it's creepy as fuck, right? So, I'm mainly making this account for Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty kind of thing, zombies, that's the kind of thing, because I'm afraid of this. So, I'm bubbling <sighs> You see that head? Oh man, that's creepy. Uh, you saw like you saw like a head poking out and looking around the door, and then the door slams, and the girl got you know spooked by it. I think like this one can obviously easily be faked um, because. She'd only have to have a younger sister or something, or a friend, to just stand behind the door and do that, but it's it's just eerie how, how the head comes around the door. Like, it looks like it's really high up, like, too tall to be, like, a normal person, but it it could just be literally someone standing on top of a washing machine or something. Like, let's, let's have another look. So, I'm mainly making this account for Modern Warfare 2. Like, watch, watch the head. Oh my god. Messed up. <laughs> it's messed up. 
Oh, just like, it's videos like that that make you want to like look behind you and see what's there. Like it's, um, that's very creepy, but like easily could just be a friend or someone, like I say. Let's watch another one. Okay, so this is CCTV footage of a building at about 4 a.m. at night. And apparently stuff moved. Oh, look at that. That's a, I think that's a chair. Is that a chair or a table? Is it going to move? Does anything else move? Yeah, look at that. Like, oh my god, that. Like, if I was, like, a security guard or something like that, and I saw that on one of the monitors, like, tables moving around and stuff, which is well documented. Like, a lot of um, places have had this happened where just randomly stuff has moved in the middle of the night uh, and the day, and it's been caught on CCTV camera. Like, I find it really interesting to see if people would go to such lengths to create something fake or... Is it genuinely something we don't understand? Not necessarily ghosts, but like things moving around on its own. Like, is it something that we still don't know about? Like, that's what is interesting about stuff like that to me. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, so this next footage was um, this was caught at Knightsbridge Underground Station in London by a random user. I have no idea why uh, they would be recording in the London Underground, but um, apparently they caught something on camera. Let's um let's have a look what they caught. Naughty way. Oh god, did you see that? What Okay that that <laughs> that is that is messed up. <laughs> I go down in the London Underground quite a lot. And you know, I've heard so many, like, interesting stories about ghosts and figures seen and, like, people from, like, the old times, like, I'm not sure what time frame, but, like, loads of different ghosts have been seen in the London Underground. Apparently there are huge sections of the London Underground that just haven't been open in years. Um, I'd love, oh my god, I'd love to, like, get a camera or something and go down into those parts of the Underground and, like, film around. Like, how cool would that be? Let me know if you want me to try and... See if I can somehow arrange something like that. That'd be amazing. Okay, so this is like security camera footage of um, a boy that's been... That's under surveillance because he's sleepwalking. A lot of people have serious sleepwalking problems. So they go to these places where they put them in a room and they record and they monitor their sleeping habits. And apparently they've caught something on camera. Okay, there's a lot of tossing and turning. What? Look at this. Look! This mist, this white misty stuff. And as soon as it hits him, like, he starts freaking out. Like, oh man. I don't know what to think of that one. Like, that one, um, I mean, any of them could be fake with today's technology. That's the problem. You know, that's, that's also the mystery. Okay, so this next video apparently is two boys going into an abandoned house that's been partially demolished and they caught something on camera. What the fuck? This is why I don't understand. Why, why with all these UFO videos and ghost videos, why is it filmed on a calculator? <laughs> We're, like, we've got all these, like, devices and stuff with, like, high-end cameras. Like, why is, why is it that we can never have a decent camera pointing at this unexplained phenomenon. I, I don't understand it. Look at that shit. Huh? Quality is so bad, but you can see like it's really abandoned and they've ripped it all down. Door. Where? In the middle of the living room. <laughs> the roof is all fucked up. Holy Whoa. shit! Dude, oh my fuck. Go, go! Okay, like. <laughs> even if that was fake, like, that was. That was really creepy. Did you see that? Let's watch it again. So they're going to the house, they're Black. filming around like kids oh, do yeah. these sort of things. <laughs> and then upstairs, look upstairs. The roof is all fucked up. And just... Holy shit! That's creepy. <laughs> oh man, that's really creepy. <laughs> but as a kid, I used to go to abandoned places all the time. I used to live um, not too far from here and there used to be a big power station that's been demolished now but we used to go up into the power station it was all abandoned and like there were so many rooms and it was oh god it was so creepy all right guys so that was us taking a look at some ghost footage uh, 
that I, I always watch these types of videos, even if I don't believe in it. Because, like I say, it's so entertaining and so interesting, even if it's fake or not. Like, and sometimes you come across footage that is unexplained. And, ah, oh, that just gets to me, you know? I just want to explain it. So if you want me to, like, watch more, like, ghost footage, UFO footage, like, we can look at some stuff more along those lines. Um, I'd love to do that. And like I say, if you want me to try and, like, actually go to, like, an abandoned, like, subway or somewhere like that with a friend or something and make a YouTube video of it, I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm not sure if anyone's doing that on YouTube right now. I know, I know a few YouTubers have been to haunted locations, but I've never done that. I'd love to do that. So let me know if you want to see that on Taz Games. Like, that'd be interesting. Like, love, quest my channel! Don't sleep tonight! Alright? It's ghosts and shit. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>